So the second example here uh, has here a molecule that has bromine and fluorine atoms here. So the bond uh, between these two atoms is represented here in red, and they're asking us to predict the bond polarity. Well, fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. And again, I'm referring to page 379 in your book. You could also access this on the, on the ebook in Red Shelf. Uh, it gives me the electronegativities of the elements. Fluorine has an electronegativity of 4. And bromine has an electronegativity of 2.8. The difference between the electronegativities of these atoms is going to be 1.2. So that's greater than 0.5, but it's less than 2. So it's not ionic, but it also isn't nonpolar. So this is a polar bond, okay? I'm moving a little bit more quickly through this um, example, but if you want the more in-depth explanation, uh, watch the, the video right before this one on the same topic. So my final answer will be the highlighted bond is polar, and the more, uh, the more negative atom is fluorine. Okay, so remember that I'm operating on these relationships here. If the difference in electronegativities of two atoms in a bond is greater than two, then we have an ionic bond. If the difference in electronegativities is greater than 0.5, it is polar, but of course less, still less than two. If the difference in electronegativities is less than 0.5, it would be a nonpolar bond, okay? Suggesting that electron density is pretty even. Um, here, the electrons shared in this bond are pulled more towards the fluorine because it has a greater electronegativity, a greater pull on those electrons, so to be more negative. Here we have ammonia, NH3. We're looking at its Lewis structure. And they want us to look at this highlighted bond here. So the highlighted bond, in this case, would be polar because I have hydrogen and nitrogen, the electronegativities of those two atoms are not the same. So it would not be nonpolar, it would be polar. So this is a polar bond. And the more negative atom would be the most electronegative one, which in this case is nitrogen. And look at the last one here. We've got hydrogen chloride, HCl, okay? And they want us to, again, determine bond polarity. Well, the answer would be polar. Why? I have two different atoms here with different electronegativities, and chlorine has the greatest electronegativity. So it is the more negative atom.